Hello folks, welcome back to uh, the NeoVim weekly plugin video. Um, so this week we're going to talk about TreeSitter. TreeSitter is a really cool plugin that abstracts away um, TreeSitter. So TreeSitter, if, for those who are not aware, is kind of like an engine to build parsers for language, which is important because when you're writing code in a specific language, um, there's a uh, something under the hood that's running. That something is tree sitter, which parses out each node, each certain um, block within that language to provide better highlighting, indentation. There are also other plugins that you can use in combination with tree sitter to do some really cool things. In my opinion, tree sitter in and it of itself isn't very powerful. I mean, if you want highlighting and indentation, sure, you know, using tree sitter by itself is cool. But uh, the real power of TreeSitter comes when you pair it with an other other plugins that use TreeSitter under the hood. Um, so TreeSitter has concept of parsers and modules. So if you go to the table of contents in their GitHub, and then it's a quick, quick start, we'll go through this together. We'll go through the installation together and the configuration together. But you also see a section called language parsers. Each parser needs to be installed individually once TreeSitter is installed, once NeoVim TreeSitter is installed. And they also have this concept of modules. Um, so out of the box, they have three modules available, one for highlighting, for syntax highlighting, and then one for indentation, and another one for, um, I believe it was, um, folding. Yes. So... Um, you can imagine how this can be very useful. TreeSitter is aware of how the language is being parsed, so it could be useful for plugins like UFO, which we talked about two weeks ago, that uses the abstract syntax tree of the language to do better code, code folding. Or it could be useful with indent blank line, which we talked about last week, um, where uh, it's wanting to highlight the top level or the top line of the block that your cursor is on. So we'll take a look at indent blank line later in the video, but for now, let's go ahead and get started with the installation. So I'm going to move this over to the side and keep it open just in case we need to reference it. And let's go ahead and jump into installation. All right. So this is my NeoVim uh, configuration, init.lua. I like to keep all of my installation declarations in a file called plugins.lua. So let's go over here into plugins.lua. I use Packer as my package manager. And you can see here I've already inserted this line down below for tree sitter. So I'm going to uncomment that. And that's essentially saying, hey, install this plugin from the GitHub repository nvim tree sitter slash nvim tree sitter. So we're going to do that. Uh, but we also need to configure our plugin. So I like to keep all of my plugin configurations in a separate file called pluginconfigs.lua. So I'll go ahead and open that up. And you can see here, I already have a minimal configuration here needed for tree sitter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these comments at the beginning of the line and substitute them using this handy replace command. And that will do it. Move that over, format that. And, uh, so we'll go through this, ensure installed, we'll ensure that these plugins are installed. Um, so we're gonna get rid of Vim for now and just do Lua as a demonstration. Sync install will install those parsers synchronously. I left this as false. Auto install will automatically install any missing parsers from the ensure installed list or table um, upon opening a buffer. So. That looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and reload my NeoVim here. And the first thing you're gonna see is this error message saying that, you know, tree sitter is not found. That's fine. It's because we're trying to configure it without installing it first. So I'm just gonna hit enter to ignore that. And then once we're in, I'm gonna hit packer install. Packer install will install NVIM tree sitter. Great. And you're going to see a message down below saying that, hey, indent blank line is trying to use tree sitter, but tree sitter doesn't have the Lua uh, parser installed. That's okay. We just haven't gotten there yet. Uh, tree sitter hasn't done the ensure installed bit yet, so it doesn't know about the Lua parser. 
So I'm going to hit enter to ignore that. I'm just going to go ahead and reload them again. We're going to see this again. That's okay. Hit enter. And it's going to try to download the Lua parser. And then now it's going to say, hey, cannot create the directory because it already exists. That's because I downloaded the Lua parser earlier, which is fine. I'm just going to hit enter on that. And uh, you can see here it's going to attempt to download the parser again, and it has been installed. Cool. All right, so what does that give us? Well, you saw earlier that uh, indent blank line was trying to use tree sitter, but for what for? So if we go into Lua, the Lua directory and plug in configs and take a look at the configurations that we did last week for indent blank line, there's this show current context and show current context start directive. These two directives, what they do is that they use tree sitter under the hood to provide more context aware highlighting. So you can see now, before, we didn't have this um, first line of the block highlighted when, when our cursor was inside a block. Also, the vertical lines were not highlighted as well. So once we got tree sitter installed with the Lua language parser, then this highlighting started to happen. So let's go up a bit and you'll see what I'm talking about. So right now my cursor is inside this icons block. So it's highlighting the icons line and as well as that vertical line representing the block. So let's go up one. Now it's an indent markers. Let's go up one again. Now it's in a renderer. So you get the idea. So indent blank, indent blank line is using tree sitter under the hood to recognize these nodes in the abstract syntax tree and provide more context aware highlighting around that. Um, UFO also uses tree sitter under the hood to provide better code folding. So in the configure UFO configurations, you can specify tree sitter as a provider. Uh, we're not going to do that in this video, but you get the, you get, I think you get the use cases for tree sitter and how powerful it can be. So, um, a few useful commands to show you real quick for tree sitter. If you go into command mode and type TS and then hit tab for tab complete, you'll see all of the tree sitter uh, commands available to you. So one that I think is particularly useful is config info. That'll show you your tree sitter configurations. So you can see here we have ensure installed Lua, the modules that it uh, comes with out of the box. So highlight incremental selection and indent and uh, other uh, configurations. If you want to enable one of these modules on the fly on the buffer that you're on, you can do TS toggle. And then in this case, let's do highlight. So you can see now it's providing uh, kind of abstract syntax tree aware highlighting now. It's doing a little bit of a better job with the highlighting that's specific to the Lua language. You can do the same thing for other modules as well. In the GitHub repository, um, if you look under the modules section, available modules, you can see here that they have a link to external plugins. So there are all the other extra modules for NVIM tree sitter that you can download. And there are also plugins that are powered by uh, tree sitter. So indent blank line being one of them, UFO being one of them. And uh, there's also one called split join which we'll talk about next week, which will split or join long lines dependent on the language that you're using. So you can split long function declarations, long strings. Um, split join uses tree sitter under the hood to uh, split those into multi-line statements. So we'll talk about that next week. But for now, this is tree sitter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll talk again next week.